This video is to help you understand how to set up, fly and pack up your ozone power kite. This section of the video shows you how to connect a brand new set of lines to a brand new kite. Uh, it clearly shows how to actually do the lark's head knot and then cinch it up to the monkey's head fist knot on the leader lines of the kite. Uh, we connect all four lines to the kite first and then unwind the lines all the way to the other end and take them off the grey winder. Then pull on the lines gently and separate all four lines so they have no twists between the handle end which we're about to connect and the kite itself which we've already connected. And then we simply repeat the process of connecting line one to line one on the handles, line two to line two on the handles, etc. Choose a suitable flying location, one that's clear, open, no people around, somewhere where you can really let loose with your kite and have a bit of fun. Um, and then by watching the video, just learn to do this process of unrolling your kite, being very, very careful not to put the lines through any part of the white bridle, um, sand the kite down, obviously you have the wind at your back, uh, once you pick up the handles don't rotate them, um, don't put them through any other part of the lines themselves and then begin to unwind the lines which is the reverse of packing them up and unwind them fully all the way to the other end until you can clearly separate the lines. Prior to separating the lines just check that you've got your red in your left hand and the green in your right. Make sure all the twists are out of the lines before you launch and then step back by holding the top part of the line, the thick grey lines and pull on those and release the pressure on the bottom lines. Once you've launched the kite, fly it up to the top of the wind window, basically directly above you, and then start to experiment with turning it. By applying a small amount of pressure to the brake lines, you'll be able to steer the kite very sharply and be able to do very accurate turns. One of the other things that you use the bottom lines for, the brake lines, is to actually do reverse landings and land the kite so you can have a rest or whatever. To do it you basically pull on both bottom lines together and as you have the kite flying backwards you do need to walk very slowly towards the kite to take some of the power out of the kite and force it down onto the ground. Another very important feature of the ozone kites is that they have safety systems or safety cuffs. Uh, to operate those, you pretty much just let go of the handles when you're flying the kite. The kite will land backwards onto the ground, and this is the safest and best way to land the kite. Once you've the kite is settled on the ground, um, bury the handles in a hole that you dig in the sand. Um, go up to the kite, secure it by putting sand on the trailing edge. Go back to your handles, making sure not to twist them uh, or put one handle through the other. Wind the, the lines just hand over hand, holding the, the handles in one hand and the lines in the other until you fully wind the lines all the way up to the kite. When you're about a metre from the kite, put the lines through the top of the handles, then through the bottom of the handles, then back through the top of the handles, and then move towards the kite, pick up one tip of the kite, place the wound up lines into the folded over section of kite, fold the two sides of the kite in around the handles, and then roll the kite up in your lap until it's a small package that will fit back into the method kites.
Backpack.